Hey guys, here with another episode of Clash Royale. And today we are actually going to be look at a couple of r battles that I have against my clan rates in the True Blues. So I do apologize for not having a Clash Royale video for about the past like 10 days or like 2 weeks, something like that. I have been meaning to get recording, I just haven't really had any epic epic battles that I felt worthy of showing to YouTube. But today I definitely have some awesome battles for you guys and let's get into them. But first of all, you can see here at my clan, the True Baloos. These guys are actually an Australian clan. We are uh, worldwide, but I know the leader is definitely Australian and a couple of guys are Australian. You can see here we're definitely pretty awesome. We are top 100 in Australia. I believe the leader said we were like 87th. Definitely check on that. But you can see a definitely great group of people. We have 46 members. All of us above, you know, 700 trophies here. Most of us above 1,000. You can see here I currently am placed 9th in the clan at 1,447 trophies. We are currently recruiting 1,400 trophies and above. You can see the clan is open to anyone above 1,400. So if you are above 1,400, definitely come check us out. You know... And, uh, yeah. So, let's get into this first battle here. And I am fighting off against Sniper of Peace, the leader of the True Blues. So, you can see here, he is a level 7 player. He is up around 1,800 trophies, I believe. Obviously, I am around 1,400. So, he is obviously a much... Well, not, I wouldn't say a much better, but obviously a much more skilled player than I am. Being uh, much higher than me in trophies, and he is level 7, I am level 6, so I know that I am going into this battle with a little disadvantage. But it will obviously be okay, you could see here, I make a small push down the right side, he will just counter that with a fireball, then he will push on my left side, I will counter that with a musketeer and my inferno tower, and now we are basically reset. I got around 500 hit points off on his right tower. He get about 100 hit points off on both of my towers, so I am, uh, hit point wise, I am winning this battle so far. Me and him both tied on Elixir, so definitely, you know, both of us are going to have to make a move at the exact same time. I will jump on Knight, he drops his Giant, and now I'm actually going to drop a Hog Rider, try and push down his right side. He's going to immediately counter that with an Inferno Tower, take out my Hog Rider, sadly. And now my bomber gets taken out. All I have is a knight left. He will counter that with his knight. So sadly, I won't get any a single shot off on his right tower. Now he's coming at me with a knight on the right side, a giant down the center, and a couple of uh, goblins and archers. I will be able to take those out pretty easily here. And now I just have my inferno tower in the center of my base. He is at a 2 elixir advantage from me, so obviously, you know, he will have to make a move quicker than I would do, which is kind of an advantage, but, you know, obviously him having more elixir, not a, not really uh, the best thing. So you can see here, he, he actually drops a really, really good uh, fireball. It takes out my inferno tower, does damage to my right tower, and does damage to my knight, so definitely props to him for that. And now you can see I start to make a push down his right side. He's going to counter, counter that very, very quickly. And now he's coming at me on my left side with a giant, a hog rider, and some goblins. So the spear goblins is definitely a very, very strong troop. I actually use them in my army as well, as you can see. And now he's going to drop a wizard and now a giant right after. The giant will actually get taken out pretty easily with all of my troops there and the Inferno Tower. Obviously, the Inferno Tower just so, so powerful against those high hit point, um, you know, troops. And now I'm starting to make a push down his right side. I will get his tower down to just 236 hit points. And now, you know... It's basically his turn to push, you know, I am maxed out on Elixir here, I drop a second in Fire Tower, I know that all I really need to do to win this game, play some defense, and then make a small push down his right side, but as you can see, I actually do the worst thing, I get a bit impatient, I decide to push down his left side, I know that he has to counter that or else I will win the game, that push I know is definitely enough to take out a tower, but you can see here, you know, he is coming at my base now. He's countering it. 
I don't know what to do. He has a knight. He has a hog rider. Now a ton of goblins and archers. I have not. I really can't do anything at this point. And now he will get the left tower. He will walk away with a one crown to zero crown victory. Definitely very, very good game sniper of peace. So for this next battle here, we I am fighting off against South Barbarian. South Barbarian is, I believe, our top trophy guy in the True Blues. He is up around 2,000 trophies, so definitely a very, very well-skilled, or very, very high-skilled player. You can see he is also a level 7 player. I'm a level 6 player, you know. But obviously, being a bit high for my uh, level... I am used to attacking level 6s and 7s all the time in matchmaking, so, you know, level 7 doesn't immediately scare me off. I haven't fought a level 8, though. Hopefully that doesn't happen anytime soon. And, uh, yeah, so you can see here, I make a small push down his right side. He will counter that very easily. Then he will try and counter, he will try and make a counter attack on my right side. I will counter that with an Inferno Tower and a Knight. And now we are just resetting. He has some damage on both of my towers here. I have some I have some damage on his right tower. And now we are tied on elixir. I drop goblins, he drops goblins. So currently right now both at 9 elixir. We are both going to have to make a move here. And I decide to drop the hog rider and the musketeer. And those guys are really my go-to for pushes. And now he drops the Pekka. The big battled Pekka. I did not know that he had that in his army. Obviously not really looking at his army before uh, we go into battle. That's just cheap. And you can see here I dropped the Inferno Tower. And the Inferno Tower is, in all honesty, the best counter to the Pekka. That and the minions really just do so much damage to it. You can see his fireball won't be able to take it out in time. And he will be able to get a single shot off on my on my right tower. So now here, just resetting, I have around 800 hit points down on his right tower. He has about 200 hit points on both of my towers. So going into the final minute here, where we both get double elixir, we are tied on elixir here. I'm going to drop a hog rider with a bomber, and he's going to drop some barbarians. I do find that the bomber works very, very well with the hog rider, since when, if they ever counter with, you know, goblins or barbarians, which is usually what a player does, I'm able to counter that, and now you can see he drops a fireball, that's not going to do too much damage, it will do some damage to my inferno though, sadly, and now it is my turn to make a push, I make a push down the right side, it is immediately countered with, with some barbarians, obviously bringing the musketeer that time instead of the bomber, he will be able to take it out, he will be able to counter my push very very well with those barbarians, and now he drops another fireball on my bomber that I used to take out his barbarians. So now 10 seconds left. We are going to overtime with both of my towers. My right tower down to about half health. My left tower down to around two thirds health. And then his right tower down to about half health. So definitely a very, very interesting game. Going to be very, very close in the end. And let's just see how it goes. So you can see here, he drops some barbarians and a and a wizard. I counter that with some goblins, a bomber, and my inferno. And now he is his tower. I know that it's only at a thousand hit points, nine hundred and fifty here. I'm gonna drop some arrows for those goblins, but sadly it won't be enough. His knight will just live with just a sliver of health. He will drop some archers. I will then drop the bomber. The bomber, in my opinion, is the number one counter to those barbarians. Those and minions, which you could also see I did drop some minions. I really didn't want those guys to, to take a hit off on my tower. It being so low on hit points, just a couple of, um, you know, troops can really take it out. And now at this point, my right tower is standing with 557 hit points. His right tower is standing with 380 hit points. And now he is starting to... to and to push down my right side here. Definitely, I am worried a bit, but that bomber just does so well against those barbarians. He won't get a shot off. He will drop that fireball, though, and now he is low on elixir. I will drop some arrows, my hog rider, and that is the game. Duke 47, yours truly, will be able to pull in a crown on South Barbarian and walk away with the one star, with the one crown victory. So for the next battle here, I am fighting off against, uh, who am I fighting off against? 
I'm fighting off against DMG underscore duo. So DMG here. He is a level 5 player at around 1100 trophies. So you can see we obviously have a pretty good range of players. Anywhere from I believe level 4 to level 7 we have. So definitely very very nice there. And uh, yeah. So he immediately drops a goblin uh, hut. Or yeah goblin hut. To try and counter my infernal tower, I am able to, you know, just take that out easily with some archers or some uh, arrows. Uh, sorry if my commentary is a bit off, guys. Uh, it is like uh, twelve thirty right now at night, so you know, kind of tired. But you know, whatever you could see here. Now I'm gonna start pushing down his right side. Obviously, him being a level 5, I know that he just won't have the cards to really match mine. So, I know a really good push can un all honestly get a 3 crown victory here. That is what I'm going for. I mean, you know, you never really want to get too stingy. Because, uh, you know, if you're going for the count for the crown tower, they could end up getting, you know, your left tower and right tower. And boom, you know, you just lost 1 to 2. I do ha see that happen a lot. Obviously, you don't want that to happen. And now you can see here my bomber with my knight. He will drop his uh, massive wall breaker. The the uh, I forgot I I forgot what that troop is called. I actually don't have it unlocked, which kind of sucks. But now you can see I'm gonna counter that with my inferno tower. And the thing with this troop is it drops a bomb, and that bomb does do enough damage to take out the inferno tower if close enough. So I knew I had to drop that musketeer to take out that balloon. Because if a balloon under a rage spell can get to your tower, your tower is definitely done. So now I drop a musketeer with with uh, a hog rider here. He, he drops uh, some goblins, normal goblins and spear goblins. Those guys will be able to counter my push very, very well. And now at this point, we are looking at it. He hasn't got a single shot off on any of my towers. His, his right tower is down. His king tower is at, at around 4 fifths health. So definitely doing pretty well here. You could see he actually did get uh, like 28 hit points off on that left tower now. You know, definitely I am doing pretty well in my opinion. Now going to drop that bomber with those minis. Those guys are going to be able to take out his, uh, his push pretty easily. Now he is coming at my base. I drop a musketeer and, and a hog rider. I know that he at best can only get the one star. I'm dropping so many troops. I really want that three star. He still hasn't gotten a single star. And at this point, he drops some barbarians. I think about it. I say, you know what? Let's give him one star. I will drop my inferno tower though. D -d Don't want to give it away for free. Now I'm going to drop my hog rider. And under that rage well, his troops will actually be able to get my left tower with two seconds left on the clock. But my hog rider with the bomber will be able to take out his king tower and I will be able to walk away with a good three crown victory against DMG here in the True Blues. So definitely the True Blues, definitely very, very awesome clan. You can see South of Brain there at 2214 trophies, Sniper of Peace at 1759, I'm there at 1447 and uh, I believe DMG here is uh, around here somewhere, DMG. Uh, do you guys see his name? Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, yeah, DMG right there, sitting at 1,175 trophies. So definitely very, very uh, good clan. If you guys are currently at 1,400 trophies or above, definitely come join us. We'd be happy to have you guys. And that is it for today. So definitely, thank you guys for watching this video. Tell me down below in the comments if you guys want me to do more Clash Royale video. I can definitely do them daily. Uh, you know, maybe do some live attacks. I am currently in Arena 5, by the way. So, uh, yeah, the Spell Valley. And for today, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe for daily Clash of Clans videos. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out and Clash on!